I mean, while the House of Representatives has resolved to set up a joint task force with the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria, AMCON, for the recovery of debts from 350 obligors. The Chairman, House of Representatives, Committee on Banking and Order Ancillary Institutions, Honorable Eze Mwachoko, made this known on Saturday during the 2024 Stakeholders Retreat of the Committee organized jointly with the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria, AMCON, held in Inugu State. Eze will regret it that those debtors are holding the nation's economy at ransom, said the lawmakers will continue to provide the legal infrastructure to strengthen AMCON to fulfill its mandate effectively and ensure the nation's economic stability. We're here for a serious business where you have over 350 obligors who are Nigerians holding our collective resources and holding the entire economy to ransom. We can't fold our hands and watch them walk away with that. And that's the essence of our being here, to make it public. And we have the list of these obligors. Uh, looking at the challenges at hand, there's a way out. We will, at the end of this uh, 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 retreat, come up with a resolution by setting up a joint committee which AMCON will be part of it, the legal department of AMCON, the committee members and our consultants to look holistically on the challenges AMCON is facing so far. But most especially among them is the urgent need for the establishment of judicial tax force of uh, judges who will be sitting, giving number of days in a week to ensure that uh, action is being speeded up to make sure these obligos are made to uh, pay these debts is for the interest of uh, our, our country. If political cases have a time, lifetime, why don't we have it in this critical period of our nation's uh, economic challenge? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.